on this call here uh we're headed to right now we well first of all i want to say i hope everybody had a happy easter uh it's it's the monday after easter i hope everybody had a wonderful easter holiday and uh this call we're going on right now we had a lot of bad weather over this easter weekend like a lot of bad weather we had a couple tornadoes and some light some bad bad lightning and power outages and this particular customer said he his house got hit by lightning and it ever since then his tv has went out his refrigerator went out his stove went out and the ac is out so he's already uh taken care of the the refrigerator the stove and i think the microwave that i say uh He's already got new appliances being delivered today, so the last thing he had he needed done was the, the AC checked out, and I was referred to him uh, by a family member, I believe. So we are going to go check out the AC and see if it's salvageable or if it's fried. And uh, we'll take we'll try to take you guys along. Okay, so we have a zone system uh, with a bypass. The system is running nonstop without the thermostat. I just unhooked the red. This is the thermostat. This is the zone two damper zone one damper okay so zone zone two damper yep this is bad yep it's calling uh Look at that mixing box. I think she said they don't use the uh, upstairs thermostat. Let's see. Yeah, look. Look at this. The damper's not even hooked up. thermostat wires are wrapped around look here we go look at that they're capped zone one is still hooked up but look at yeah okay so we, we don't need the zone board so we're going to eliminate the zone board Thermostat. If you look there, it was on one, two, and three. It's all calling. This this zone board is fried. This should be the upstairs thermostat right here. Or the downstairs, I should say.
that's powering the zone board. So I'll power zone damper one with that. I don't know much about zoning, but I know that this is not the correct way to do it. I know that much. after speaking to the customer they want the zoning to work so I'm gonna hook this damper back up cuz she said it's always hot upstairs and I said yeah I guess it is because the zone damper is not even hooked up, so I'm going to hook up the zone damper. And go pick up a zone board. bypass so zone 2 damper common and closed closed thermostat this is equipment this is the other thermostat okay this is 24 volt power It's back on now. Okay, I'm gonna go pick up a a zone board, a Honeywell, or something similar to this, maybe an EWC. But uh, whatever I can find. Hey guys, all right. So let's clear a couple things up. I am not a zone expert. I don't claim to be we don't see zone systems here i bet you in 20 years this is maybe the fourth or fifth zone system i've ever seen and i understand the concept of zoning but i am not a zone expert like ted cook or joe Shear. i don't claim to be because this is a two-story house if i would have done this house i'd have put a system upstairs and a system downstairs that's my kind of zoning <laughs> so but you saw the mixing boxes uh, they want the zoning working properly. I know enough that the, the, that the zone board is bad. It's calling for cooling nonstop. And they unhooked 
the damper for the upstairs. So I hooked it back up as you saw. Now I am going, the closest supply house is carrier. So I'm gonna run the carrier and see if they've got a zone board. Or actually I'm gonna call them first. Cause if they don't, then I'll just continue passing up carrier going to a different supply house that does have it. But they do want the zoning to work because they said that the, the upstairs, now what I could have done is, is just tie it everything in together and work it off of one thermostat. But she was very clear that that's not what she wanted. She wanted both thermostats to work like they were supposed to. So I've got to go get a zone board and hook it back up properly. So that's what I'm going to do. But I am not a zone expert, but I know that that is not done right. It's got a bypass damper. It's not even a power open, power close bypass damper. It's what's it called? One of them bar barometric bypass dampers. I know it's not done right, but what am I supposed to do? You know, I got to do what the customer wants. So I'm going to get a zone board. So don't judge me on this system. I didn't install it and I'm not a zone expert. So don't judge me. I'm just doing what the customer wants. We'll see you guys when we get back over here. Have our new zone board. This is equipment. This is thermostat. thermostat that went to the bottom Spam risk.
Okay. This is the equipment. This is zone damper number two. White is common, red is closed. thermostat Okay, now we have our DAT sensors. volt power. Equipment is not on, so I don't know why these zones are lit up. They shouldn't be. 
we don't even have a third zone. gonna try the upstairs thermostat. Just hard to kick on. Oh, okay, I see. The lights turn red. So zone one is on. Yep, the condenser zone. I'm gonna go turn the downstairs thermostat on now. So zone one and two are calling for cooling and fan. Zone three, we don't have a zone three. We only have two zones. So that ought to do it. Check and make sure we got airflow. Upstairs and downstairs. And that'll be a wrap on this one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I don't run into zoning a lot, so I thought I'd film it. Again, I just went back with a replacement zone board, the same model number, because I am not a zoning guy. We don't see it here. I have never installed a zone system. So I am not a zoning genius. I'm not a genius on any of this. I feel like I'm a pretty good technician, but I'm no genius. But I'm definitely not good with zoning. I understand the concept and how it works. I think, you know, well, I mean, I do, but there's some things about it that I don't understand. And I'm not afraid to admit that. So I went back with the same model number uh board from Honeywell and hooked everything back up. I hooked up I hooked that zone damper back up and uh the system's working great. Both zones are working and cooling so I was it is a successful repair. But um I do want to learn more about zoning. I really really do. So if there's anybody out there that would like to help me with that Man, look, I'm always willing to learn. Um, always willing to learn. And I've always wanted to learn about zoning because I don't know much about it. 
All right, guys. We'll see y'all on the next one. Thanks for watching.